Hey, hey, what's up? <clears throat> Gaming addicts, man. We here. Um, click that like button, that subscribe, all that good stuff. Click that bell, the notifications. Gotta get them, gotta get them. Uh, so, we just gonna talk about what's going on right now. Um, who the hell y'all got? Y'all got the Patriots? Y'all got the Rams? I'll be honest with you, though. I mean, I haven't watched football all year. I mean, I'm, I'm one of those I'm one of those chosen few, you know, who decided not to watch them. But I do listen to all the podcasts, you know, Skip, <laughs> Undisputed, man, Skip and Shannon. Like, hey, man, they be clowning, man. So, you know, all the morning shows, all that good stuff. So, I mean, I listen to all the podcasts. I just, you know, choose not to watch. So, uh, it's been a hell of a year, though, man. It's come down to this. It's come down to this. I, I, I'm i upset. I forgot what I was saying. I got a phone call right in the middle. I forgot to turn off my damn do not disturb or turn on my do not disturb. Train of thoughts all messed up. Uh, oh, I guess it comes down to this. It comes down to this, man. It's been an exciting year, man. I'm Oh, that's where I was at. That's where I was at. Man, I, yeah, I'm upset with the NFL a little bit for making me miss such an exciting year, man. Like, I mean, it seems like it's been an exciting year. Like, Mahomes, he seems like he's been on fire. I mean, he seemed unstoppable. I mean, honest, honestly, um, I think he deserves the MVP just from what I heard. I mean, I mean, it seems like he performed all year. It doesn't matter if his team lost or whatever. Just him, it seemed like he put up four touchdowns in his sleep. And, you know, like... I don't know. Um, Drew Brees, it seemed like he got old at the end of the year after Dallas whooped his ass. Seemed like Dal Dallas, you know, you know, whooped that reality back into his ass. Did he 40 years old and he ain't Tom Brady? You know what I'm saying? There's only one Tom Brady, and I don't even want to hear that. I hate the Patriots. I'm a, I'm a Buffalo guy, you know. Um, but so, yeah, it's uh, – uh, what else is going on? I guess that uh, – the Cowboys, I guess, you know, they came on strong through the end. I was kind of, you know, it seemed like they, I don't understand why they just don't, I don't know. I don't know. Their game plans are kind of crazy, man. They got some hell of a weapon. They got some weapons, man. I don't think they use them right. I think the offense needs more imagination. Uh, the Rams, yeah, I, I can't even believe that they there, man. Like, shoot, they ain't been in it in a while. But it's cool that they backed them two defensive tackles. Man, I always say that it's always going to be defense. In my opinion, I mean, I know it's the I know it's the age of the offense, man. I get it. But I'm from that era where, you know, you come across that middle, you might die. You know what I mean? It wasn't no thing to hit somebody in football. And those teams always, you know, won. Like, shoot, that team that, you know, hit you in your mouth the hardest not, you know, ice skated, you know, and did circles around you on the way to the end zone. Like back in the day, you know, those the you know, the ice skaters, you know, looking all finessey and looking all pretty on the battlefield, having things looking all amazing and spectacular. Only a couple people did that back then. You know, like Jerry Rice or Barry Sanders, you know, like Bo Jackson. You know, like there was, you know, Dion, you know, like there was players, you know, but they, but they were special, you know? But nowadays, like, everybody looks like they're special because you can't touch nobody. You're scared. So, yeah, it's just crazy about that. But um, so who you got? You know, I, I, I mean, there's no way at this point. I mean, honestly, you know what I'm going to do? Actually, I thought about it because I, I was just about to go with Brady because you can just never underestimate that guy, man. Like, I don't know. Him and Belichick are crazy. They here. So... Um, I mean, the experiences on the Patriots side, like they done been a three in a row. Like, for real, I hope that I hope something happens to her next year. I don't know. I just hope something happens because honestly, you know, my squad we lost all of them, so that ain't nothing to brag about. But at the same time, that's something to brag about to go to the Super Bowl four times in a row. 
Like, I mean, you've got to be on a whole nother level to do that. That shit ain't easy. So I really hope the Patriots don't do that next year. By whatever means happens, I don't give a damn what it is, you know. Um, but I'm going to go with the Rams, though, in this one. I, and the reason I'm going to go with the Rams is just because of those two defensive tackles, man. Like, hey, <sighs> the only time I've seen Brady lose in a Super Bowl to where, you know, he lost because it was just an ass whooping was the Giants, man. Like, I mean, they... I mean, they beat him. They beat him up, and that's the only reason that they lost. Um, so, and I think that uh, with the way that Sue's been playing, because they're always DT and Arnold. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't think the Patriots. I mean, they haven't even allowed. I think no sacks and only three pressures or some shit this whole postseason though. So that's crazy. But at the same time, I don't think they came up with these two. They ain't never came up across these two individuals that's just trying to hit them in their gut. Like, I mean, Brady can't move. Let's be honest. He he gets rid of the ball in two seconds. So you got two seconds to just get a hand in his face, you know, just to make him move to the side a little bit. I think those two big-ass strong individuals right there up the gut can do it. So I'm going to just go with them. And, and I mean, uh, I mean... The, young, the the Rams are, are young enough not to really appreciate the situation they're in. So they're just going to just go out there and act like they're going to be back next year. So they're just going to let it loose. I don't think they really worried about it too much. Especially golf. Like, he he's so young. What the hell? Like, I mean, just a few years ago, he was, like, just fantasizing, you know, like we did in our front yard about being in the Super Bowl. And now here he is. So... He's definitely too young to appreciate the situation, especially growing up in the era where he's seen Tom Brady go all the time. So he's probably like, shit, I can go all the time too. It's not a big deal. Just like basketball players and LeBron, like the finals always got LeBron in it. So it's just like, it's easy. It seems easy. Eh, that's like, you'd be lucky if you go twice. You know what I mean? Like, shit, you're lucky if you go once, you go twice, man. You might as well just go on ahead and just say, you just accomplished a miracle and a half. You know what I mean? So... Um. Uh, so yeah, man, I'm I'm gonna go with the Rams on the upset. I don't even know if that was what I wanted to talk to y'all about, man. I can't even think if that was the video I wanted to make or not. But damn, I guess I I got sidetracked with that. Um. Yeah, just leave the comments, man. Leave the comments on who who you think's gonna win. I'll definitely read those, respond to them. I don't know if it's gonna be a high scoring game or not. I mean, Brady will put him up if he needs to put him up. But, I mean, he's like good. I mean, you know, he's going to be good for 21. But, I mean, shoot, he's probably going to have to – he probably have to score. he probably have to score 35 to win. But with that defense, I don't know if he's going to be able to do it. The Rams shouldn't have no problem because the Patriots defense – I mean, Belichick's a genius and he's going to have two weeks to prepare. But, mm, I don't know. Have they played him? I don't even know if they played each other this year because if they haven't then it's the first time then I give that advantage to the Rams also even though Belichick got two weeks give that man two weeks he gonna come up with a hell of a game plan oh yeah if you want this shirt you know PayPal I think the link is on my page you know just going ahead and order your size I got all kinds of sizes I got navy blue I got black I got you know for the females I got some pink you know I got I will say royal navy black and like a light blue, like a like a sky blue, you know. Um, so yeah, man, yeah, right here, here it is, you know. This is your boy stuff. Um, yeah, matter of fact, shit, get one. It's only twenty bucks. Beautiful material, doesn't shrink really. I mean, what can you say, you know? Oh, good cotton. Um, hmm. Yeah, okay. I guess that's it. I guess that's it. I really can't remember what I jumped in front of y'all for, man. Um, I know it was the Super Bowl, but I have a feeling it was something bigger. I guess I'll make another video about that. All right. All right, gaming addicts, man. Leave them comments, man. I look forward to reading them. Take it easy, y'all.